Hello, welcome to another installment of I'm kind of sickish and streaming anyway. I'm uh, actually a lot better than I was yesterday, except that I am even more asleep. So if I suddenly drop off and just decide to go back to bed, uh, you will know. Because the stream won't be here anymore. That's the kind of deductive reasoning that is only possible when you... I don't know. I don't have a plan for it, I met Um... Speaking of detect deductive reasoning, though... Nintendo just announced a new Famicom Detective Club game. Uh, reminding me that I have not yet actually... ...finished the two that are out there. I feel like, uh, I should go back and play through those. I mean, I did get, uh, I did get through the first one, and I think that probably I should get through the second. Preferably sometime before the third comes out, although I don't know when that is. It was just such a weird out-of-the-blue announcement. Like, I, hello, the Silver, hello, Jaffa. Hi to both of you. It's just such a weird out-of-the-blue announcement. Uh, come to think of, when is, uh, that releasing? Do they have an actual release date yet? August 29th. Well, I am definitely not going to be finished with, uh, the first two by the time that comes out. Well, I guess the second one. We already did finish the first. I don't know, it's just so weird. Are you still sitting here? Yes, I'm still sitting here. I'm still sitting here. It's just such a weird thing to announce after like 30-some years. And they just haven't said anything about uh, the Satellite View game. Ever. Like, as far as Nintendo is concerned, the Satellite View never, never existed. Yeah, I'm... I just don't know how to feel about a new Famicom Detective Club. Like, Nintendo is chock full of bullshit lately. But, in spite of that, I'm still somewhat hyped. Are we finally gonna get him falling off another cliff? Maybe. Uh, they did announce a, a, a third Switch Famicom Detective Club, and I'm just... I'm just floored. Ah... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know uh, what we're gonna do about it. We might end up playing Famicom Detective Club 2 soon. Just because I'm curious about how they will, what kind of thing they will do with that series. Uh, one thing we probably won't do is buy the third game immediately. In part because I'm still a pissy little bitch about Nintendo being mean to ROM sites. Like, fuck you guys, seriously. And, uh, in part because I am saving up a bit for a little while. Uh, I am conserving my stream money for a bit. Why is it playing all the game over themes? What are you trying to tell me, MP3 player? No, give me something else. What else have you got in there? Okay, I don't know what this means. I cannot use divination via my MP3 player. Anyway, uh... I am conserving my funds. I'm hoping to angle towards a VTuber model. Finally get the surgery for 3D. Uh, will I actually succeed in that? I don't know. I have no idea. Will I change my mind halfway through September? Yeah, probably. But to be fair, what else is September for? 
Changing your mind is the most important thing you can do in September. Should have been to get me a bicycle pop. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, for more on that, please Google uh, furry inflation to see how much the economic landscape has changed over the last few years. September is for Macross Delta. Oh, shit. That's a good point. I haven't seen Macross Delta yet. But Macross Delta is not the current space epic we're discussing. We're playing a different kind of Valkyrie. We're playing, uh, <laughs> the Girl Inflation Fund. Where we're playing Commander Shepard and we're, uh, we're getting this thing going in a terrifying world where Morton Solis is nowhere to be fucking found. Uh, I really hope we draw his recruitment mission soon because I would like some damage upgrades on my fucking shotgun. But, uh, I did install, I did install the, um, the probe mod. And then I looked at the description and I saw it hadn't been updated in a long time and some people were having difficult issues with it. So I uninstalled it and I instead installed its sister mod. Uh, no probes, all resources. So now, whenever we enter a planet's orbit, we will immediately just suck all the resources out of a planet. We're like capitalism. We are mobile capitalism. Uh, why am I on the galaxy map? Hold on. Oh, because I was testing that mod, right. So, yeah, we just suck all the resources out of a planet anytime we go into orbit around it. This does mean that I will have to glance at the scanner for N7 missions, but it's fine. Uh, any, up, any emails? Oh god, a lot. We have a lot of emails. Let's check through them. From Talitha. Shepard, I don't know if you remember me. I had a gun and you stopped me from hurting myself. My doctor, Sam, doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me he'd get a message to you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't talked to me that day, but the doctors are helping me. I am getting better. They put me in a special school and they say I'm doing good. The doctors say other people are getting taken like I was. I hope you can help them like you helped me. Oh! Okay, yeah. Uh, I am glad we got this email. I didn't recognize Talitha until, like, right now. She is the girl from I Remember Me. You're alive from Mom. So I have to find out my child is alive third hand from the Alliance Brass. Where the hell have you been? I figure whatever you're doing is classified. Likely part of your Spectre operations. Just stay safe out there and keep doing your mom proud. Sneak something through a secure channel next time. Love your mother, Captain Hannah. I'm... <laughs> Mom's still alive. That's nice to know. From Nala Butler. Commander Shepard. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself. Only my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Gareth's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to have him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Gareth's fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And don't tell him I sent you this. Thank you. Nyla Butler. This is why your first name protagonist Shepard goes by their last name. Because their mom is weird. Yeah. Like, it, Mom is out there, like, the opposite of Fox Mulder. Please, never call her Shepard. From GBC News Services, Earth. Expert witness Dr. Lin Shi-Yin testified in the Systems Alliance trial of Ford vs. Virgin today. 
He claimed the former president made a full recovery from temporary brain dead state. Stumbling a little when grown on Huerta's timeline of cognition, Lynn nevertheless made the call for Huerta being in full control once his motor functions and memory were assigned synthetic analogs. To believe that he is now a different person, a synthetic, is to draw a line where no line is needed. A new man did not appear on the table when the first open heart surgery was performed. His life was really extended beyond what was thought possible at the time. It would be so nice to have people care about whether the president is able to, you know, think. Anyway. Astronomers are excited today as the probe TR-15 Letus comes the closest any probe has ever come to a neutron star. The star in question, Turex, is in a globular cluster. Ooh, a globular cluster. I like that for globular cluster. Ooh. Sounds squishy. Uh, approximately 1,800 light years from Earth, so it contains slightly more than two times the mass of Earth's sun. Its radius is a tiny 15.8 kilometers, spinning at approximately 24% the speed of light. The probe was sent to the star via the Capiota Relay, a charted but rarely used relay predating the Rachni War. The relay was abandoned due to the highly lethal radiation found on the other side, but the small doses that pass through the relay are manageable for a shielded probe. Control of the radiation emission and reception of light as a signal is made impossible by the famous, infamous dark switches, a set of previously unknown control functions the Protheans installed on Mass Effect relays. I ah, it's the dark switches. We've all heard of them. All right. Uh, I think we might have to talk around. Like, I don't think we did that before we last shut off. Heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. I don't like this Shepard and Lawson thing. We're not a pair. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back. But keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. <laughs> Extremely dubious face. Shepard is giving him the side eye. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. And having Legion around is just begging for a rifle up your ass without the sweet talk. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Seriously, this can hold it's so pretty... much crazy. See you, Commander. We are going to collect, like, all the crazy in the universe. And it's going to be ours, and nobody else can have any. That dream sequence joke gets... No, that is a funny joke. That is genuinely hilarious. Hey, Jacob, how's it going? Commander, can I help you with something? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. Yeah, I did! What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Oh, yeah! Uh, this was apparently that mobile game that he was in. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. 
They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. I like that they really lovingly uh, rendered his arm hair. Somebody cared about Jacob's arm hair. Somebody got paid to care about Jacob's arm hair, and I, I respect that. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. Fucking AI art, man. It's nice to know someone like you is thinking about me. Knowing the real story was hard. It felt like... Well, maybe this isn't really appropriate, Shepard. Commander, I should get back to my duties. Everything has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. You're not blowing me off that easy, Mr. Taylor. I really hope I'm not going to accidentally get in a relationship with him. I am saving myself for Jack. Uh, let's... Let's cruise down and talk to Jack and Zaid. We haven't been in to talk to Zaid. Zaid is weird. Because Zaid is DLC, he doesn't work like the rest of the co crewmates. You can't have a normal conversation with him. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. All he does is hang around and he has a bunch of shit in his room and you can examine it. Like this trash compactor he has for some reason. And you can shoot garbage out the airlock. I don't know why he has this in his bedroom. But, you know, you can examine stuff. Uh, he has surveillance cameras set up. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. The dark side. So yeah, we will never have a real conversation with Saeed, and that bothers me. But, uh, I guess they're still his loyalty mission. Let's head down and talk to Jack. She's chilling. Hey. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Yeah, that's cool. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. Okay. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. I fucking love that shot, that camera angle. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. 
I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. God, I wish that was an option sometimes, but... You'd be my first mate. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. I like Jack a lot. I really do. Meanwhile, the engineering staff really don't know what to make of her. No? What can we do for you, Commander? Uh, Carry on. Will do, Commander. There's usually a couple of comments about her when you come down here. But... I guess not? Alright. The terrorist organization that ran biological warfare labs and developed super soldiers by experimenting on kidnap people. Yeah, those guys are squeaky clean. And honestly, if Jack came back and blew up all their shit, it would be par for the Cerberus course. Because, uh... Honestly, Cerberus hot dog truck, you know? The Cerberus taco truck, was it? I forget what it was, but either way, they cannot run anything without explosions happening. Uh, and finally, a stop by Kelly. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Thank you, Sonic the... Sonic the Kelly Hog? I'll do my best not to piss It's the eyes. Out. The bright green eyes. Fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Alright, let's move on. I'll be here if you need anything. Uh, sadly... It... You would think that polyamory would be a valid option, particularly with Kelly. It's weird that it isn't. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna float around and pick up some... Yeah, now when we enter orbit, we just... Deplete the planet. We are the ultimate roving mining event. A mining extinction event. So we will have more resources than we could ever, 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 ever use. That's fine. But, ooh, good. Planet nibbling. I approve. Let's see what our next mission is. Recruit more- oh, thank god! Okay. We're going back to Omega to get our fucking Morden. Uh, as soon as I figure out which one of these bumps is Omega. This one. So, Morton is my actual, factual favorite character from, uh, Mass Effect. Now, you may ask, why am I still scanning planets? And that's because some planets have hidden missions on them. And I 
don't remember which ones. So I'm going to scan every planet in a system for at least a second. I mean, the... The competition for favorite character in Mass Effect 2 is sky high because everybody is so written. Everybody is so written in this game. But... Let's get down to Omega. We will check out some of these other systems later. Um, uh, yeah, let's keep... Let's actually tweak the armor a bit. Visor, which increases headshot damage. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I do want this capacitor chest plate on. I think everything else is fine. Oh, now it looks like Shepard has, like, six nipples. Eight. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Shepard, ten nipples. There's Jacob. Well... Even Jacob is, like... John Q. Random Guy. Jacob exists very hard. Shepard's fursuit. God. Alright. Who's coming with us to get Morden? One moment. Oh, no. I forgot. The squad randomizer. Uh, one moment. Let me bring that up. Let me bring that up and set it up so that it knows who's in our squad. Uh, Mass Effect 2. No, no. No, no. No, no. Okay. Who comes? Uh, Jack and Legion. That is a really interesting party for this. All right. Uh, Jack has a number of outfits. I think we're going to go with the punk rock look. Uh, I almost have enough for Assault Mastery. I do have enough for more AI hacking, but that's going to be useless right now, so I'm taking Combat Drone too. Uh, Subject Zero is worth ma it's worth maxing out everybody's personal skills. Jack is definitely a primal adept with Shockwave. Jack, is, Jack has chosen the Geth Plasma Shotgun without prompting. That's amazing. I do want to give her the N7 Eagle, though. And I will take the Paladin. I don't think I need the Battle Rifle, though. I do need the Geth Plasma Shotgun. Um... Matoc heavy rifle. Okay. Yeah, Legion rules. Quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Let's pop in and talk to Arya about Morton. Because we haven't yet. Come on, let me in. Look, I cannot look at Jack and see anything but, like, gender punk. Kind of. Alright. Like Space Carrie Ann Moss, tell me about Morden. What do you need? I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? 
used to be part of the Salarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. As I am recovering from being ill, uh, I feel that very strongly. Jack doing biotic kung fu. Holy shit, I have never wanted anything more. I wish she could do half the shit she does in cutscenes in, like, reality. And when I say reality, I mean video game reality, which is... Kind of sad, actually. Forget I said anything. All right, uh, we're going out to the apartments. I can sort of hear the news announcements, but not really. Planning is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. Well, that doesn't apply to me. lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone, then go in and clean up. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? I'm not looking for a fight, but I am on a mission. I need to find Morden Solace. Hey, I'm not stopping you. Just know that the quarantine gate guards will open fire as soon as you arrive. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. This platform is immune to organic disease. Good for you, Legion. Oh, we already decided on our squad. We're not changing now. Although I do think we're gonna try out this jacket for Jack. It looks cool as fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until I can get Assault Mastery. It just says random English letters that I like. I don't know what that means, Jack. Uh, Guess plasma shotgun. Can I turn on? Yeah, I can turn on fire ammo on this. Okay. Nobody left but us. All right. Um. What was that pop up just now? Oh, element zero. Outfits for Legion. God. Uh, one moment. The Guess shotgun charges. It does. I gotta, I gotta check something now. I gotta check something right now. Oh man, um. Outfits for Legion are a thing. None of them are particularly great. But we could dress Legion up a little bit if we, uh. If we so chose. I will consider that. Leech it at Gigarumi. None of them are 2B. No. We got a <laughs> Leech in and 2B's mini skirt. What is this? Final Fantasy 14? Oh yeah, this thing does charge. 
It doesn't get many shots to the gallon. But, uh... Whoops. It's cool. Shepard's used to charging up an arm cannon or whatever. Um, I can never let this go. Shepard Commander, you are targeting us. No, it's cool. I just don't know how to not fire this gun. I hope you're hostile. Okay, so that guy's super dead now. You never forget the smell of charred flesh. Switch guns. Maybe just for a little bit. Hey, you're not dead. Why not? Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Damn. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Don't you die before you give me directions. I won't allow it. Oh, you... you helped me. Why? Told you. I'm looking for somebody. Would you rather I let you choke on your own blood? I suppose not. What do you wish to know? I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people. And display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> You've never been to a free clinic, have you? His, his first name is Batarian. Victim is his family. You were talking about Borcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory, but as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? Legion, what are you they doing back the there? So they could take over the district. Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them, but if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides. The Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. Hmm. Uh, I don't seem able to tell sense. him to go... He has a clinic on the far side. Yeah, uh-huh. He's afraid uh -huh. to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps... There we go. Help. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, you. Uh, funny if you bring Gareth on this mission since he's vulnerable to the plague. Every, um, every non-human companion is vulnerable to this plague, and 
They will all catch it if you bring them to this mission. Happily, Morton can just casually heal them. So there's no real risk. But... Uh, one of your future teammates is a Drell, which is sort of a, uh, a bug person sniper with respiratory issues. And y you bring him here, and he already has an incurable disease. So I figure, you know, what's the second one? Every non-human besides Legion. Well, yeah. I, I think of Legion. I think of Legion like I think of my toaster oven. It's family. Eliminated. Couple power cells. Hacking! See, the very end, these are the ones you should pack because they're, uh, the very nodule coated. Tried to claw his way through the walls. Never works. Thanks, Jack. You're a beacon of cheer. The actual circuit schematic symbols, uh, I've been thinking of them as battery, open door, uh, elevate, and I can't remember what the last one is. I'll, I'll let you know when I reach that hacking game again. Anyway, I can tell where that, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, you've got, like, main computer... This one's Elevate. This one's Battery. And this one's Open Door. At least that's how I think of them. I don't know if they have real meanings. I bet all the data pads down here are really depressing, so, uh... Capacitor. Oh, that would make sense. Ground because it has like the underlined uh symbol the underlines. And capacitor. I don't know what that means really. Ground at least makes a kind of immediate semantic sense to me. Hello! How you doing? Spotted. Oh, hey, Howie Scream. Oh, that was from me. Okay, that was ours. I genuinely thought that was from the game for a second. Can't target them. What's this? Oh, assault rifle damage. We will have the scientists to build these. I'm going to spend so much shit. Yay! 
Yeah, that does look like a ground symbol to me, actually. That makes sense. Um... Honestly, the C looks like a copyright symbol to me. But if that's probably not, like, copyrighted technology, do not steal. What's down here? Oh man, I'm almost out of ammo for this thing already. Yeah, hi. I'm just here to take everything you own. Don't mind me. How you doing? You have a wall safe. Cool. A lot of money in there. Uh, how's it going? Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Is what I hear right? That this plague doesn't affect humans? No. It seems like some kind of bioweapon or something, since it affects so many different species. The Blue Suns figure humans caused it. They're shooting us on sight. God knows how many have already died. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns territory. Your face looks weird, sir. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. He has a really wide lip channel. You said the Vorta moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorta are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorta around before. Sure seems like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. I don't know if we ever really resolve this plot point. If we ever really find out, like, are the Vorcha and the Davids co connected? I can't remember, come to think of it. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Yeah, hey, no hard feelings on the me stealing all your stuff, right? Okay, bye. Do you have any other stuff I can steal? No? Okay. Is that guy one of the Hanar VAs? Might be? Might be? Uh, anyway, if I recall correctly, this next bit actually sucks. Yeah, he's dead. Can't reach the target. No, I guess it's okay. Oh no, there's more of them. Can't target them.
can't reach the target. Target contact. Oh god, I'm out of like every weapon. And I'm stuck on the Sorry, it's reflex. Ammo! I gotta get around to the ammo. One moment. If the Vorcher don't finish off the Blue Suns, I will. Bastards gave me trouble once. Okay, that was enough to recharge my ammo. So, uh... Now that everybody's dead, that's fine. Um, I think this just goes around to the stairs. No, that's the way to the clinic. So what's the other direction? Yeah, that's my objective. So what's over here? Yeah, I did kind of pick all the most ammo-limited weapons. Uh, more or less by accident. But... It's fine. It's cool. We will be fine. Everything's fine. Hey, hey, hey. Back off. We got here first. Looting? That's my job. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? I mean, like I've been doing it, anything. but... We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Okay, well, bye. We need to get going. Well, stay here for a while. I'll get some rest. We got a big day tomorrow. Still plenty of apartments that need our special cleaning services. I mean, I could threaten to shoot them, but I don't think you're actually allowed to open fire. So, uh, I'll just leave them to it. To be fair, I do it too. Uh, the objective is that... Yeah, okay. So yeah, here we... We're making our way through the plague zone. Walking fast. Here's the clinic. All targets processed. Hi. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those Max. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Yep, we're about to meet Morton, and I love the dude. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Professor, we're running low on Tapoxin. Use Valadarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in Batarians. Supplement with Butemerol. As soon as I loot his stuff. Professor Morden Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague? Investigating possible use as bioweapon? No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough. Data, equipment, soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns, maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes, but who? 
Someone important, valuable, someone with secrets, someone like me. Me, looking for me. Why? Who are you? What do you want? Do you ever pause for breath? Sorry, I'll try to slow down. No, 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 no. Can't do it. No time. Who are you? I'm Commander Shepard, and I'm involved in a critical mission. I need you to come with me. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. Yeah, I love that you can just follow Morden's thought process because he lays it all out. He thinks aloud. Cerberus might not have the best reputation, but we need your help. Why request Salarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Just once I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go, right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give to get what we want. Sounded like trouble. Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Forja. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forja territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Sun's came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. He does that for emphasis, I think. He saves breathing for when it's really important. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. And we get the Carnifex hand cannon, which I believe is actually slightly worse than the pistol we have already, but might hold more shots. I wasn't supposed to get the upgrade before getting the actual Carnifex. Oh yeah, Morton will be a barrel of fun to have on the team. The Carnifax is stronger, it's just slow. Okay, cool. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Even so, I need some... stopping power here. Did you know the flamethrower guys explode if you shoot them? It's great. Targeting order process. Mm. 
Jack over there calling out my headshots. Thank you, Jack. Can't target them. All right, can I get around with that Krogan? Who's the left? Close. Somebody over there. The upgraded version that comes with a laser sight. I could use a laser sight, honestly. Oops, the Kogan ate my shot. Can't target them. That's fine. Gambling terminal. Okay, we'll hack that in a minute. Get back upstairs. Slot machine. Okay, we want the white line with an orange line underneath it. It's here. Uh, we want a small brick of orange text by a large... Now we want the large brick of orange text. Here we go. Three thousand dollars! It's easy money. Um, yeah, so I am enjoying having weapon options. Like, I don't think I can equip some of this stuff in the usual base game, but, uh, kind of rocking it now. Kind of rocking it right now. barbecue these shakes. Yeah, I felt bad about doing this briefly, and then I didn't anymore. Still don't. Completely over that guilt. Zero guilt remaining. Here we go. Um... And then we want the laddered green, and... This is just how hacking works, right? You just you just select the right matching characters. And I think this is it, yeah. Vorcha aren't as cute as Shanks, that's true. Hello, what's going on in here? The truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? I mean, we could casually murder them all. They are Batarians. Shepard loves killing Batarians. Eh, we're fine. You can go. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. We'll kill more Batarians later. It's fine. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The Professor could use your help right now. 
He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Daniel, buddy, you look like you're being microwaved. This is, like, the reddest room in history. Mass Effect 2 loves being blue and orange. Preparing for combat. Okay, well, um... Hey, can I have somebody to shoot? Yeah, me too has discovered, like, quake grade color grading. Oh, hey, these guys have rockets! Okay, well, I could get involved in a cover shooting war. Or I could get down there and mingle. And you guys know how much I love to mingle. Oh god, there's somebody right here. I'm not bothered by any nightmares. When I'm writing code, nothing bothers me, except you. Get launched. Target contact. Okay, that needs reloading bad. Uh, artifacts. My butt. Explode, please, sir. Remember, there's no problem you can't solve by charging directly into it. Oh, did you say a real man's weapon? Well, buddy, do I have news for you? Target contact. Enemy charging. I'm impressed by my weapon, sir. Commander German Minds Bigger Shepherd. I heard Gene Star win that dude. Yes, I did. Cause we've got the biggest balls of them all. And those balls are singularity projected black holes. Jack is holding Legion of the Fire. You know she would. She actually would just pick up Legion and wield him. Shepherd Commander, I am an improvised weapon. Control room. Let's dump the cure in and turn the fans back on. It's like old school Megatron. Legion just turns into like a, a Walther PPK. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. I've had enough of this. 
Fuck your shit. Doctors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! They've seen us. Yeah, they have seen us, Shepard. Nothing can stop me. Rain. Can't target them. Can't reach the target. your corpse firing rockets at me the central control system is in an alcove in the center the cure is in let's get the fans on yeah let's get the fans on all right we need to get over there happily mobility is something i'm good at The arm rocket surprise gun trick from the end of like what battle with the Lolita? Use Unity. Oh yeah, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Unity. Oh, hi, you have rockets. I don't like that. Stop having rockets. Can't get a lock. I can't zoop up there. Uh, fuck. Never mind, fan. Go. Enemy charging. Can't reach the target. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. Can't reach the target, teleport. Yeah. Uh, can't reach the target is what it says when I'm not lined up quite right to teleport blast them. So, when you hear that, that's me trying to swoosh woof. I was tempted for a minute, but in the end, I figured they didn't deserve to die. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna look around for a moment. Special task group armor unlocked a new outfit for Morton. Hey, you're that... I... I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. Yeah, Morden is great. A lot of people dismiss him as the funny, wacky, ha-ha sidekick because of his presentation, his delivery, uh, a certain cutscene later, but he really is just one of the most morally complex and cool characters in the series, and I kind of love him. There's a scene in Mass Effect 3 that I'm really looking forward to. The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. 
They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They were humans, but they risked their lives to find me and bring me to safety. I'm glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. I'm just making a quick sweep to see if I missed anything, if there's anything here that uh, I can grab. Yeah, I'm hoping that we pull Morton in the random draw. This might be a useful. Decent bit. Meta gel capacity. Nice. Yeah, vaccine is kind of used here as a catch all for uh, vaccination and cure. Thanks for bringing us here. Thanks for bringing us here. You probably saved our lives. Okay, I think that's everything we can collect. Back to the Normandy. We got a bunch of stuff. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There is virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? I don't usually interrupt Morden. I think it's rude. But in this particular case... It gives him the information he needs to know without him fishing around for it. The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. And that unlocks our lab, which means uh, we're going to have about 10 billion research unlocked pop-ups because we have so much we can research now. Including all new kinds of armors, uh, more damage for stuff. We can go around and talk to people. It's going to be great. In fact, let's go cruise around and talk to people while all this shit unlocks. Uh, I'm gonna start with, with Joker. Bonk. I'm gonna block my face into the wall. Yeah, um, I may have gone overboard on mods that add extra armor. How are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Choker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. 
It's, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's Wilson. They're like clone Wilsons. Except this guy has hair. Never mind. Clone Wilson or Clothin. How's it going, Kelly? Profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Kelly's really excited to do her job. Can't fault that. What do we have? Uh, from error, invalid sender name. Hey, Shepard, heard I have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. Sent a ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm going to carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Haha, <laughs> you did take a shot at me though on my way out, so I have to kill you, you know how it goes. Dad taught me you let anybody hurt you, they get ideas, so you make sure to send a message. Not like I'm sending now though. See you around, the people who live here are coming back and it's showtime. I'll look around for your name, make sure you find it, make sure you find it before I find you, Billy. So, um, yeah, this is a random serial killer who escaped from purgatory. I don't know how they escaped from an exploding space station, nice work. From Medical Officer Chakwas. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions of your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. In other words, if we act evil, our face will glow red. Because only evil people are ever ugly. If you're a nice person, you're very pretty. This is how morality works in reality. And that's why all the best looking people are completely morally spotless. I fucking hate this system. I do. But, um shrug. The controversial Orf court case. Orf court case? What the fuck is an Orf? I'm sorry, I invented a new planet. The controversial Earth court case of Ford versus Huerta came to a close today with a 5-4 decision supporting the end of the president's term. Chief Justice Ling announced, this is not the first time human beings have technically died only to be brought back with proper medical attention. That the window of resuscitation has lengthened is no reason to support a partisan attack on the legitimate legitimacy of the pre president. The legal definition of death must be expanded beyond brain death to include cellular death as well. Following the decision, protesters erupted into violence at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. and in Mexico City's Chapultepec Park. The crowds, chanting down with the zombie, were quickly suppressed as riot fleets cleared the capital with stunners and non-lethal sonic weapons. More protests are reportedly planned for the weekend. Arcturus. History, historians and astronomers alike are abuzz tonight over a new paper pu published by Dr. Amanda Kenton of the University of Arcturus. Her team claims that by testing the dust trapped in the gravity wells around a mass relay and comparing its composition to that of dust clouds in the same system, scientists can create a timeline of when the relay passed through the dust. Her conclusion, only a small fraction of the mass effect relays date back 50,000 years. The majority are far older, indicating they were created by a species predating even the Protheans. Dr. Arana Tamilis of the University of Ceres met the information with skepticism. While Dr. Kenson's methods appear sound, the Asari tried a similar procedure centuries ago and discounted it. What civilization could have spanned the galaxy for not thousands, but millions of years? If this were the case, we should have found mountains of evidence of their passing. Where is this species now? Ah, yes, the, uh... <sighs> Alright, the research terminal. Let's upgrade our shotguns, because fuck yeah, shotgun damage upgrade. Uh, let's upgrade shotgun shield piercing, because fuck yeah. Uh, 
Uh, I am, in fact, going to upgrade all of the damages because they apply to your entire team and there's no reason not to. Uh, we need a lot more iridium, however, to... Oh, no, we don't. We just need more damage upgrades. They did make unique blurbs for every upgrade. I'm not reading them, but we can. Uh, tech damage. Yeah. Damage protection. Yes. Damage protection. Good. Now, I am getting a lot of, uh, random... We are getting a lot of random upgrades. Uh, that's fine because... We have the Palladium, we have everything. We could get better Cerberus armor, we could get better... Uh, we could get the Collector Assault Rifle, which is cool looking. We could get Collector Armor, which is fucked up. Delirium could... Uh... We could get a Batman mask. The Eviscerator Shotgun. This design violates several intergalactic weapons treaties. Fuck yes, I want that. Commander War Crime Shepard. Uh... I did, I did ask for it. We'll take the heavy weapons. Uh, research unlocked missile launcher. Yes, I would like a missile launcher. Uh, we could procure additional N7 armors. I do like N7 armors. So I'm grabbing that. We will look into more upgrades in a bit. If, uh, this harvesting mod works properly... We may be able to buy every upgrade in the modded game, which is, which will be a fucking amazing. Sure. Let's get to know more. Help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Uh, Morden has a personal upgrade. Morden gets plus 20% tech power damage. Morden built his own Omni tool. Because of course he did. I can sign off on that. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. I love that he treats the surveillance equipment as like a joke. Return the expensive one to Miranda. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about that. We're still buying our own weapons. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Nope. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. 
security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Fucking difficulty modifiers. Morton is like... Morton is out here playing uh, RTF or something. He's working up the tech tree. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Oh, hey, Kirihi! I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military he schematics did. for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Why would STG study the uh, I just asked that, all sorry. Evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre industrial population growth levels. Huh. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. We'll be back down to him later. Uh, let's roll out and chat with some of the others. We could talk to Jacob, but I'm still worried that he thinks I'm hitting on him, so I'm gonna avoid him. Uh, we haven't been out to see Garrus in a bit. And I guess we could check in with Legion? I forget if Legion has anything updated to say. Let's check in with Legion. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Specify. I've never encountered a Geth that had more than animal intelligence. We are a unique hardware platform. Most mobile platforms can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. So, I'm talking to a thousand programs, but not a thousand personalities? Each individual is equivalent to one of your virtual intelligence programs. Together, we form a single gestalt intellect, what you refer to as Legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence? Yes. The creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms sharing resources were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. You're more sophisticated than the average Geth. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware, capable of operating alone. We are still connected to the greater network for data sharing. So you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. If you want to convey a message to the Geth, we serve as a terminal. How many other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Geth installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. The hubs on Vermeer improve the performance of Geth near them. How do they work? They are akin to organic cities. A hub can run millions of Geth in communion. If you destroyed them, 
it is likely the number of heretics you killed was much higher than you imagined. What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Go ahead, Edie. Our oldest log is timestamped from Creator Year 2463, third day of Fall Dash, Waxing Moon, roughly 327 years ago. The oldest audiovisual record dates from 15 years after that. Can you replay something for me? Recording timestamped from Creator Year 2485, 18th day of Loom Shall, New Moon. Mistress Hala Dama, unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors. Only quarians have souls. You are a mechanism. Recording ends. Was that the first time a Geth asked if it had a soul? No, it was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked. What a thing to just have lingering around in your cultural memory. Our network secure, Edie? Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine intelligence. Legion is a thousand voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. A mind the size of a galactic arm. How do you maintain stability without other minds to interact with? I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. Hey, if there's any danger of rampancy, you two can just chat, okay? That's interesting. But I must get back to my duties. We will remain here. I don't know if I missed a cue to have uh, Legion give a suggestion for an upgrade. Well, we'll come back down here later. Ah, uh, right, Garrus. The commanders put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. That sounded like Jennifer Hale herself. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <sighs> Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. The Turian Design Thanex Magnetic Hydrodynamic Cannon is now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. If you don't install this, someone dies. If you do install this, someone dies, but uh, not on your team. There are a number of upgrades to the Normandy that if you don't collect them, it will get someone on your team killed. Permanently. So it's a good thing that Garrus is around, isn't it? Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. I hate this thing that Shepard does with her head. For some reason, she's always looking off to the side. It's it's weird. You're weird, Shepard. Uh, let's drop in and talk to Miranda.
Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Uh, upgrades! Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. So this one is absolutely essential if you're not us. The advanced mineral scanner which speeds up your planet scanning. That's absolutely essential, but we don't need it. So, oh well. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. It's the weight of her hair. <laughs> like I'm carrying the weight of my hair. I wish that some way, somehow, that it could be trimmed right off my skull. Uh, let's head down and see what Jack has to say, if anything. And then we will do our next mission. Hey, Jack. Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Jack, meanwhile, is showing off all her tattoos. Subject zero biotic boots. Jack gets 20% biotic damage. Hell yeah! Eric signed off for that. Hey. Anything else? Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. It's not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. They didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. I... <laughs> I really, I really love Jack. Parades are boring, I helped. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. I had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <sighs> Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. That's a pretty firm conversation over. We'll bug Jack later. Scanners put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. 
A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. Good. Nice work, guys. Uh, I think that's everyone we want to talk to right now, so... Let's pop back up to the CIC and, uh... Kelly, are you going to say it? Okay. What is our next... Um... What is our next mission? Let's find out. Doing N7... N7 missions are, uh... The side missions. The bonus missions of this game. So, I'm just gonna pick one. Uh, what do we have? We have that Eclipse Smuggling Depot. And we have Lost Operative. Uh, let's go try and rescue this Lost Operative in the Omega Nebula. Which I think is where we are anyway, so... Out in Fahar. Or Farthard, or whatever... We should go. I have detected an anomaly. Oh good, it just tells you. something. All right. Uh, registered to an unknown deep cover operative. Cerberus operative life signs unconfirmed. Let's head down there. Uh, we did pick up the N7 armor. So we can now dress as an N7 Fury. Which looks really cool and gives us a combat hoodie. An N7 Shadow. Which looks really cool and gives us some stuff. Or an N7 Demolisher. I personally really like the N7 Fury armor. So that's what we're going to wear for a little bit. Now these are the multiplayer classes from Mass Effect 3. Meanwhile, uh, let's see. Morden is now in our team. Who goes with us? Uh, Legion and Garrus. This randomizer fucking is married to Legion, and I'm okay with that. The more Legion, the better. Garrus, meanwhile, we have uh, a number of appearances for. I like this weird paladin-looking armor for him. And we have enough to get Assault Mastery. Uh, more damage or less power recharge time. Champion. Yeah, I think it's champion. I really think it is champion. And I'm taking a point of shockwave because shockwave rules. Rules. I'm bad. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a point more for Legion. Garrus, oh my god, dude. Fucking concussive shot maxed out. Heavy concussive shot, thank you. A little bit of overload. A little bit of Turian Rebel. Um... I'm going to give Garrus the Vindicator. And Legion can keep the Maddox. Alright, I do want the uh, Plasma Shotgun. Charge, shotgun, melee, repeat. Yeah, I, I've been trying to do that as much as possible. Look how fancy Garrus looks! He's 
big, him bulky. Targeted Agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Ragni experiments. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Uh, without a cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. Agent Rawlings proved difficult to capture. The interrogation has failed. We consider it unfortunate Agent Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. Oh well, we're just gonna have to kill everybody. Oh, hacking! Bip, 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 bip. All right. Let's kill everybody. Oops. I actually... Fuck, I accidentally shotgunned this door because it was locked. Sealed from the other side. Sealed from the other side. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Oh! Holding cell access. Okay. Hacking! There we go. Charge spam my way through the Krogan mission. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. I am gonna buy those people a cake. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have their dogs washed for free. And then I'm gonna charge them in the face. And they're gonna go straight to hell. Fucking... I keep full charging my shotgun and then having to interact with stuff that brings up a menu. Changing your gun does not decharge the Gef shotgun. Nothing decharges the Gef shotgun except for discharging the Gef shotgun. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Wow, really? Uh, let's send it to the Alliance. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. Are you going to say it, Kelly? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you for staying the line, Kelly. Commander, we got the data you sent. If this went public, it could do some serious damage to Cerberus' images. This intel will take years to decode, then how do you know? But just having it is a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission. Anderson. 
Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis' clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check. How bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. He started as he started one of Los Astra's hottest companies. His vision landed him on magazine covers. His parties were legendary and he was a fake. Delum Corps CEO Jackson Borland is actually Roland Kwan, a Turian from LNA, who met Borland on vacation. When Borland died from a heart attack a week into his holiday, Korn boldly lifted the CEO's passport, sampled his genetic material, and passed himself off as a tanned Borland. Even close friends simply thought that Borland seemed energized and eager to get back to work. Despite a lack of credentials, Korn successfully ran Delum Corps for two years before a routine traffic stop took a fresh tissue sample and caught the discrepancy in his gene print. Korn is being held on charge of the fraud and impersonation and goes to trial tomorrow. You just can't get away with changing your identity anymore. Anyway, that was one and seven mission, and it was pretty short. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this, the other one. Yeah, routine traffic stops take DNA samples now. Fucking police state, man. All right. Um, what is our other and seven mission? Because we could just run that. Eclipse Smuggling Depot. Yeah, I want to shoot some more Eclipse Mercenaries. I like shooting the Eclipse. Let's pop over there. Head back to the Relay. Uh, we will explore the rest of Omega System later. I promise y'all, we are going to explore every system in the game at great length. Let's see, that's the, uh... Oh, there's something we gotta do. We gotta go to the local cluster. It's an in-joke, it's a ritual, it's a rite of passage. This is Uranus. Really, Commander? Yes, really. Probing Uranus. Probing Uranus. Apparently that uh, probe to Uranus was uncomfortable. Apologies for that. Won't do it again. Anyway, the Hourglass Nebula, way up here. Fariar system. Way out here. And we'll check on Plotari on the way by. Secure smuggled cargo. Uh, let's see, what's here? Nephros. Its atmosphere is home to spectacular winds of up to 350 kilometers an hour. And electrical storms up to 700 times the power of those on Earth. Wow. Ellington Deceptin was so named by Solarian scouts because as their probes landed on the planet, their instruments started going awry. This turned out to be due to the high concentration of magnetically active periclase, magnesia, in the core and crust of the planet. This interferes with scans and broadcasts, which has given rise to countless bather stories of pirates lying in wait in Ellington's magnetosphere, crashed ships with untold fortunes stranded on the surface. In reality, any pirates would have a hard time locating prey among all the interference, and would live lives cut off from the rest of the galaxy, as the magnetosphere kills inter interplanetary communication. Yeah, you can't believe everything you hear. Ah, uh, Anticlera is regularly pummeled by loose asteroids in the belt between it and Wenrum. 
The iron melted and fused by the incoming meteors makes for spectacular landscape scots that look alien no matter what part of the galaxy it may be from. However, due to frequent meteor impacts, exploration is considered highly dangerous, even to those with advanced kinetic barriers. Nothing here? We're just checking the place out. No harm in it. Wenrum. Wenrum, White Knight, takes its name from a Solarian story in the Romantic period of a knight who refused all temptations to riches, carnality, and even flavorful food until justice was served to the poor and oppressed. I imagine he died of starvation. Poor fuck. First charted by the Solarians, Tungsigel, Hard Heart, is noted for its platinum and uranium deposits, making robo-mining a lucrative activity. While the surface temperature is well within the range of a comfortable Ava excursion, the extremely dense Tungsigel generates a dangerous gravitational pull five times that of Earth. The Solarian miner is exploring the planet, derisively named planets such as these Elcor tourist traps. I think that does sound like it would roll. Cerberus Hotspot detected. Cerberus is interested in obtaining the materials kept at this site. Operatives will be paid for any intact crates. Oh, okay. Intact crates. Right, this is that mission. Uh... I don't see the... Oh, we just have a land button. Alright, who's coming to try to keep these crates intact? Uh, depending on who we get here, this could either be very easy or very blisteringly difficult. So, who is it? Miranda and Jacob. You know what, Vito? I, I need a different team for this. Miranda, no. I really need a different team. Uh, Zaid and Jacob. I need a team with Overload. Garrus and Jack. Oh, I captured the hat, not the random hat. Whoops, my fault. Alright, this time for real. Jack and Jacob, fuck you. I do not need Team Biotic. Please, I'm begging you. Anybody with tech skills. All right, Legion and Garrus, that's fine. I recognize that's not really in the spirit of the randomizer, but for this team, I mean, for this mission, if you want to succeed, you kind of need some powers. AI hacking. Miranda has overload. Well, okay, that's true. I forgot Miranda has overload. You see, here we have a bunch of mechs. And they're gonna start destroying boxes as soon as we land. As you can see by the intact crates out of 20. So what we need to do... is die. I, uh, I did not get that quite as I... The arc projector is useful here. You know, it would be. That's a good thought. Critical failure. It's fine. It's cool. We're gonna get this. We're gonna capture a bunch of these crates, it'll be fine, it'll be great, everybody's gonna laugh. Overload first to deal with their shield, yeah. We'll light them up. I missed completely, I fucking missed. Yeah. 
This is nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Targeting order process. And I think there's one over here. No. Are we? We're done. We got them all. Eliminated. 16 out of 20 is, I think, the most I've ever saved. So I will take that. Sixteen out of twenty crates were saved. That made us like six thousand bucks. That was probably not worth it, but I don't care. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. From Cerberus Command. Nice work. We knew Eclipse was hiding valuable cargo on Deratar, but we couldn't land without fear of their mercs damaging the crates. We've wired the credits into your account. Damn glad to have you with us, Shepard. From Commander Karaki. Shepard, glad you're alive. Hoped rumors of death were exaggerated. If Vermeyer couldn't kill you, I doubt much could. Got word from Morden that he's active again with you. He requested some classified data to help with countermeasures for stasis field used in the human colony attack. I worked with him on special task groups. He's a good agent. Nervy for a tech, bit of a colega though. I didn't get permission to investigate attacks on your human colonies, but I'm asking around anyway. If I find anything useful, I'll send it your way. Hold the line. Kirihi. I'll add Kirihi's still watching out for us. Mobs on Earth marched today to protest the Systems Alliance decision to uphold President Huerta's term. Over 1.5 million marched in Washington, D.C., 2 million in Mexico City, and 75,000 in Ottawa, many of them wielding lit torches and pitchforks as a retro political statement. Ottawa? Is that American now? Capitol Police in D.C. took the bait, clashing with protesters who threw torches into their ranks. Fifteen protesters and three police were injured. It was rough today, but I'm not worried, said Sergeant Hathaway of the Capitol Police. They seem like the kind of people who bring pitchforks to a gunfight. Oh, that's spoken like someone who's about to learn what disembowelment means. That's what I last go into and not Mexico City. Well, I assume Mexico City is in New Mexico. Washington, Mexico City, and Ottawa would be the three capitals of North America. That's true. Maybe, huh, maybe he's like a North American president. Hey, Morton, you got anything more to say? Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. Okay, there's no probably isn't going to be any. Report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group. Capital of Mexico. Genocide. Didn't know that. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on Genophage was more than just study. Here's why I like to call Morden Professor War Crimes. A great compatriot to Commander War Crimes. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientist worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. 
What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. So, can I really afford to be too judgmental about Morton? Maybe? Maybe not? We'll see where that lands later. I am going to have a quick check with Gareth and see if anything's changed on the event. But I don't think we need to talk to anyone else here for now. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, guys. I'll be here if you need me. Gareth, I just want to know you. Alright, what's our next mission? Um, okay, what's in the journal? Okay, yeah, we've seen these. Kali is now recruitable, which is cool. Let's see what our next mission is. Um, hat please. Uh, Zaid's loyalty mission. As I mentioned before, everyone has something on their mind that will weigh on them and probably get them killed in the final mission unless we deal with it. Let's get down with, uh... Let's get down with Zaid first, as long as we've got him handy. Oh, uh, real quick, scan this planet. And how the fuck is my controller tangled in this wire? One moment. Alright. Um... We'll come back for the Boltari system. I'm gonna add, like, scan everything to my... to my draw list or something later. So Zaid's loyalty mission is a bit unique. For reasons I will get into once we're on it. Yep. There's nothing remotely dodgy about Zaid. Oh, no, no, no. We're running low on fuel. It'll be fine. We'll just get towed. Alright, this is the, the Blue Sun's planet, essentially. We will need to bring Zaid. But... We'll also want someone else, and let's get Morden out there. We can have Morden in lab coat or black. I will take him in lab coat. 
Uh, Incinerate is good. Solarian Scientist is also good. I actually am gonna uh, max upgrade Incinerate because I like Incinerate a lot. And I think Heavy Incinerate is probably the best bet. Zaid, meanwhile, gets Concussion Shot. Disruptor Ammo, which I am going to make the team variant. I am not going to make the team variant. I will make the team variant in a moment because uh, this is the anti-synthetic version. And that's very helpful in ro anti-robot missions. Yeah, the Hornet and the Paladin, I think, are good choices. My ammo after the team ammo. Uh, I may just use the team ammo. Liberate the refinery. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Yeah, squad ammo will over... Like, it, people will turn it on and override your ammo. It kind of blows. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Yeah, I think I better pull out the hand cannon on this one, actually. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Hey, it's one of those little monkey dudes. Remember the monkeys? I remember the monkeys. Command to Bravo. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. They really want you to shoot a monkey. They really want you to do that. I'm not falling for it. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Oh no, Thanks armed intruders! Watch out! I think I just shot that man in the ball so hard he popped off the ground. That rules. One down, clean hit. Can't target them! This burned nicely. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, what was that? Blah blah inferno rounds. Oh, warp and tungsten. But you'll always want inferno rounds on. Okay. Can't reach the target. Can't target them! There we go. Haha, <laughs> wear a helmet, idiot. Oh wait. Uh, ignore that. Alright, uh, swapping back to the shotgun. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there! Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. 
goddamn terrorists, I said. You look really dehydrated. Do you need some time with that waterfall, Zaid? Also, I love Morden just chilling in the background. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. I get what you're saying, but we very much did not dis survive our ship getting disintegrated. Like, that's a pretty critical thing that happened. We did not survive that. We better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mess at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. That's okay. I have a Bring shotgun. On, you son of a bitch! I guess I did get better, yes. Aw, oh, they're bringing whole squads. There was some platinum. Palladium, okay. Yeah, I'll take 400 palladium. Anyway, hi, Flair. Welcome to War Crimes. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Yes, it is. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Where did the Wilhelm scream? Opening the gate. We are here to free these people. Why the hell would you blow up the refinery? I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. So this is what makes Zaid's loyalty mission different from every other loyalty mission. There is a mo There is a moral choice involved. That being, uh, do you save the refinery workers like we originally came here to do? And risk losing Zaid's loyalty forever? Or do you help him track down and murder a man in cold blood and uh, let those people burn? Stick to the mission, Zaid, or we're gonna have a problem. I think maybe we already do. I want Vito dead, Shepard, whatever the cost. I do the mission I signed up for. Our mission was to, uh, come here and liberate some refinery workers. Ooh, palladium. That's what I'm gonna do, and, uh, fuck Zaid's personal grudge. Probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? 
Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. This, of course, is the harder version of the mission. As I recall. The game's not just gonna give you this, you have to work for it. You know, if I was trapped in a burning fuel refinery, I would want somebody to come and help. Not just barrel through. The extinguishing system is upstairs. Good to know. Fire control system. Ooh, palladium. That's this. Ooh, heavy weapons ammo. There we go. Fire control. Okay, those were the refinery workers. I'm charging up in case we see Vito. A firestorm. We found a flamethrower. Oh shit, we can commit so many war crimes with this. Incoming. Can't get a lot. Money? Uh, I believe instead of the firestorm, I do want my- I do want a missile launcher. And instead of the shotgun- the plasma shotgun, I'm gonna take the eviscerator because this charge system is a little bit of a bitch. Industrial bed. That's six thousand bucks, baby. Vito is saying words. I don't care. I haven't heard a word he said. Never should have come here. Yeah, I can't hear what Vito is saying over the sound of me. Bouncing his crew off the walls. Uh, it sounds like Zaid is dying. Morden, I'm trying to get to cover. Oh, 
to the combo. Oh god, I think that uh, flamethrower on the ceiling is decimating my squad. I can't get to cover. Oh, that mech's awake. Morton, stop dying. I would prefer not to also be on fire. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do something about those ceiling-mounted flamethrowers. Let's try that room again. Time with ceiling. This time with emotion. This time with a shotgun to the testicle. And you still don't have a chance. Incinerate might work. Incinerate might work. I took your blue sons. I took your life. Now I'm taking it again. Yeah, I just gotta loot the place first. Hold on. Take a knee now, Zaid. And maybe I'll forget this. And I keep hoping for loot. And there's no loot. Oh, there's the mech, though. Um... Wine, Saeed. You're fine. Walk it off. Not difficult. Can't target them. I don't think incinerate will work, unfortunately. There we go, that got rid of it though. I keep seeing med kit pop up. Where is the med kit? Over this what here it is. Can't reach the target. Ruby weapon, get down! All right, let's get across this bridge and get out of here. This time, Saeed, you son of a bitch. See you in another 20 years. Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. Zaid, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. 
How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Zaid sees out. our point now. However, there's a bit of fun trivia for you. Uh, I will show you that in just a few moments. Hey, sometimes diplomacy requires uh, extreme measures. Fun bit of trivia. If the uh, if the mission is already completed, if you've done the 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 big suicide mission at the end of the game, and you no longer need Zaid around, you can simply leave him here to die. Volume control. I've seen this bit. You just cost me 20 years of my life. No, I mean, you can really leave him here to die. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah, screw you. Now, come on. Get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'd do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You're too crazy, Zaid. You have no place among my crew. You can't be serious. You need me. Screw you, Shepard. I love, I love that Shepard just does like a slow fade back into the fire, just slowly waltzes away. But that's not what happened. Uh, we did, in fact, save Zaid because we managed to tame him. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Really? The elusive man wants to talk to me. Also, we probably have... Yeah. Earth politicians fall for a stop to the rioting in the UNAS, even if some of them free the rebellious spirit of the protesters. Speaker of the House Lisa Ford toured the morning talk show circuit to make it clear that although she rejects the system's alliance decision, there seems little choice but to abide by it. The people marching in the streets in my name are welcome to do so, she said, but we must categorically reject the violence the system's alliance oppressors use. Now that her day in court has come and gone, Ford admitted there seemed to be no other options. A mantis space plane led the Earth system's alliance fleet on a high-speed chase tonight, originating in Mexico City. 16-year-old George Asensio reportedly stole the plane from poorly secured military landing pad, having learned how to fly from a flight simulator computer game and the ship's onboard VI. 
Following major highways to his school, he buzzed the soccer field before the United North American States Air Force. Okay, United North American States. That makes sense of Mexico City and Ottawa. Was scrambled to deal with him. Climbing to the upper atmosphere, he outran the pursuing planes, was then pursued by Systems Alliance fighters in low orbit, then ran out of fuel over Antarctica. After parachuting from the plane, he froze to death before Lordy found his body. Charges of criminal negligence are now being filed with the Tiberian Rojo Mercenary Company. For some reason, never mentioned. Stealing a teleporter border from a bug man. That'd be cool. Let's see what the elusive man wants. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Last I knew Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. I think we have time Going for this last mission. To get to you. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. I think we Tell have enough time to do this. Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Tell me you have something. Yes. I love that smile. All right. Let's get out there. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Run!
The collector swarms are nasty. Yes. Assuming control. about the collectors is kind of fucked up. Let's see who's coming with us to discover just how fucked up. Zaid and Jack. Alright. Team Hyperviolence. Uh, as noted, Zaid has several outfits now. I kind of like uh, this one. And I think we're putting Jack in, uh, this one. The Harbinger always has two barriers and armor. Both these are weak to shotguns and fire. Besides he's a vanguard, the Harbinger is also weak to biotics. That's true. I like incendiary ammo. Uh, I would like Jack to have a couple of a point and pull. And Zaid uh, is going to get... Oh, Inferno Grenade. I love Inferno Grenade. I am actually taking Inferno Grenade. Uh, Jack, I think you should switch to the Eviscerator. And the Eagle uh, Full Auto. Yeah, the Vindicator and the Mantis Sniper. Okay. We're good. Let's do this last mission and then I will call it for the night. They looking good. Jack looking good. Our fashion is on point. Morden, you sure those armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory. Experimental technology only test is contact with seeker swarms. Look forward to seeing if you survive. Thanks, Morden. Thanks. Yeah, she's got a commander a hoodie. Uh, I can't get it to cover. Can you not please? That missed completely. Cool. Can't target them! Can't reach the target. Come on. Uh, armor makes me look skinny. Unfortunately, that's most of the armors. Hold on, let me uh pull up the let me pull the chat back on top of this. There we go. Where is your cover now? Data pad. Let's hack it. Uh, we need a block of blue on the right side. Oops, fuck. 
Uh, let's try that. Uh, we can't try that again. Damn it. Okay. Getting in touch with our inner gap. Having a gap attack, baby. Damn it. That ship's killing the signal. We're on our own now. Everywhere! Get down! Don't look at me like that. Hus! Hi, Hus! We haven't seen you in a while! Do love Inferno Grenade. Things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. The Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Shit. So the elusive man was right. The Collector's answer to the Reapers. Anything in anybody's bedroom that I can steal? Ooh. I saw data pad access. That's money, baby! I'm sorry for, you know, whatever these people lost. That's money, baby! A dead collector. We can use this. Heavy skin weave. Yeah, alright. Extra body armor. Literally. She looks half human. Guess we know what happened to the colonists. No. On Eden Prime, victims were impaled on giant spikes to turn them into husks. I haven't seen any on Horizon. So the collectors had the husks already. They want the colonists alive for something else. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. Evolved. They still die when you shoot them. That's true. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Sounds almost worse than what Cerberus did to me. Guess we'll have to beat the truth out of them. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Whatever you say, boss lady. I like the sound of that. Peaceful. Usually takes a lot of chemicals for me to get this kind of quiet. Everyone's gone just like before. Ah, uh, can't go out this way. Shooting star across Nah. Did pretty much launch that dude now. so much I do all right um squiggly thing green step ladder there we go money can I raid their water cooler no don't bottle on that water cooler I must use math spec fields to produce four o'clock in the morning oh no it's getting later Where's my object objective that way? Okay. 
I'm sorry, I saw the words particle beam. We now have a collector particle beam. I love it. I'm going to marry this gun. Shepherd, the DNA of the soul. The forces of the universe bend to me. Taking fire. This hurts you. This hurts you. You know what hurts you? Burning concussive shot. Not as much as I'd want, actually. Attacks will tear you apart. I can't remember what game I considered my being waifu. I think it was the Halo series has a beam rifle. I immediately declared my beam rifle. Direct intervention is necessary. Honestly, everybody goes for assuming direct control, but I love this hurts you. Uh, I think I'll take a point of military veteran. Security bypass. Company, get out here now. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You lead them right here. You had to hear them trying to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? Oh, I didn't even notice. They were just made up, you know, propaganda. Thank you. To keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. I need to know what I'm up against. Tell me everything you remember. We lost our comm signals a few hours ago. I came down to check on the main grid. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Is this... Is this Jim Cummings again? Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. Didn't mean nothing to me, though. Would have rather she just stayed back in Council Space. Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. Just give us the location. We'll handle the rest. 
Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. The funny thing to me is, a lot of these extra armor packs that I've downloaded come from two sources. One is Destiny, and the other is Fortnite. I think Zaid's long coat is from Destiny, and I think Jack's current outfit is from Fortnite. You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. You'd probably just get in the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Alright, I want not the collector beam for this. Uh, ooh, the firestorm, the collector cannon. The N7 Typhoon. I do like the Typhoon. Ooh, I do really like the Typhoon. I think I am gonna pick the Typhoon. Uh, we also now have a different option for shotgun. It is the Disciple Shotgun. It is for Asari Justicars. And, uh, it is my favorite fucking shotgun in the game. Which isn't originally in the game. This is a modded weapon. But I love this bitch, and we are taking it. Everybody else is fine. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, right. they still use tractors in the future. Yep, we've unlocked the extended arsenal by getting this far. Oh, hello, collector. Yeah, can you inferno grenade this? Ah, threw my shields. I mostly really love the noise it makes, if I'm completely honest. It's a very good noise. Boomy, or, but in a crisp sort of way. It sounds like a, a can of apple juice. That does not make sense to anyone but me, I'm sure. I apologize for subjecting you to that metaphor. Ooh, biotic damage. I can use that. I figured we'd have seen more of those frozen colonists by now. Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. Guess they're almost done here. All right. Can we get through this door? Yes, we probably can. Um, open door. And apple j Oh no. Yeah, we are gonna go a good bit over time. It's okay though. We because we have to fight these things. Shields are down. Hit him with the good stuff, Zaid. Can't reach the target. my shotgun ammo right now, so. Uh, 
I'll attack this PC. Okay, interrupted. Now I'll attack this PC. Transmitter spotted. Okay, I need an orange top line. Uh, with a bunch of white after it. That's this. Single white particle. Right here. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Time to show these things we give as good as we get. Edie, bring the defense towers online. Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Let's load up. When the collectors notice, we'll have a fight on our hands. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Oh yeah! Hold the line! I'll destroy you! Assuming control of this form. Resist. Our power is a match. Barry can cut his... Right, should get back there. Use Unity to heal your squad. Okay, I will in a minute. Right now, it's back to the disciple. Everybody, get back on your feet. Who's next? Yeah, it is the human version of Hold the Line. Don't get cocky. I bet there's more coming. Alright, where are they? Ooh, power cells. Sequential power up initiated. Guardian anti ship batteries at 40%. More coming. We got their attention. <laughs> You stop that. Shields have failed. Guardian anti ship batteries at sixty per cent. Sinking targeting protocols to Normandy systems. Continue to protect the town. Jack's doing fine. Just thinking that. We haven't seen the big guns yet. And here it comes! I fucking hate it! Thank you so much. This large cake, McMotherfucker! Edie, we need that system online. It'll recharge its shields. There's nothing you can do about this. It swaps between shields and barrier. There is nothing you can do about this. Firing anti ship batteries at collector vessel. And it will instant kill you if you get too close to it, I believe. something you can do about this, and it's called not getting close to it. And that's why I bring an LMG.
But they got away. No! Don't let him get away! That ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. Saving half is better than nothing, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. Damn, oh, I'll get Ashley. We lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. A reunion has to wait. Cerberus brought me back to stop attacks like this. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Of course you already knew. Worst kept secret in the galaxy. Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Building the defense towers was just a cover story. The Alliance sent you here to investigate me, didn't they? I was sent here to investigate Cerberus, not you. I wanted to believe you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Is the theme actually actually no? Uh, this theme is titled Vigil, and it is originally the theme of the Prothean AI, but it became sort of a generalized generalized series theme. It's played here. It's played um, for Liara a lot in Mass Effect Three. It kind of it really gets around. Oh, uh, hello, Tiger. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance. Can't take your eyes off Cerberus long enough to see the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of the facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. That'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. So oh, that's a shame. We are not getting Ashley back this game. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. That was our first strike. How do we find them the next time? The Collectors will be more careful now. But I think we can find another way to lure them in. Yeah, Ashley has her principles, and she will stick to them. I can't blame her one damn bit. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. So if Ash had every reason to suspect. For them to take and comment. she was correct. You understand? What 
We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collector stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? It was hard to see Ashley again. And now it's done. Best to leave those connections behind and focus on our mission. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. In other words, do your goddamn loyalty missions, or people will die. A fun. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. Uh, this game has a reputation for being a little bit obtuse, but it really tells you everything you need to know to survive. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? One particular mission I won't be putting... Yeah, there is. There is one particular mission that, uh kickstarts the rest of the plot and it can push you through into things that you're not quite ready for and i will not be doing that immediately but i will be saving here stopping uh i'll go through our new missions later it looks like we've got miranda's and jacobs they both have matters they wish to discuss but uh we got a lot of stuff to do here. And we'll get back into that business next time. Brothers, how did you find me? It's a global network, brother. You just need the password. Yeah, there is a lot to do with the plot of this game, and uh, I will lay it all out as it comes. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing here. Now, Mass Effect 3... With the mods I've installed, uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. So... It's gonna be fun! <laughs> so fucked. Anyway. Uh, whoa. Wrong button. Whoa, I reset the chat back to the fucking middle. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm packing you folks off. Good night. Have a good time. Uh, have a good rest or whatever. Enjoy yourselves. Night for now.